So here we are inside the Idaho State Penitentiary that most people don't know is the most popular tourist attraction in the state of Idaho. It's totally ominous, the weather that we got yes. today, isn't it? Dark clouds have settled over us. I think maybe the ghosts here knew that we were coming and so they're preparing to come out. So less light for the ghosts is better, I think. I was not told about ghosts. There's nothing in my contracts about dealing with ghosts. <laughs> I have real issues with ghosts. We have been given a guide to show us around so we don't get lost in this place. So we're gonna grab JC and he's gonna take us on a tour through the Idaho State Penitentiary. This was a working penitentiary for 101 years, 1872 to 1973, and it housed Idaho's most notorious criminals. Some of Idaho's most famous inmates were housed here. There were around 130 different deaths that occurred here. And because of the interest in potential paranormal activity and haunted spots and abandoned tourism, it has rose to be one of Idaho's, if not Idaho's most popular destinations. And we have, over the past couple decades, have built a lot of ex amazing events, new exhibits and new guest experiences that keep people coming back here. Here we are, I wake up in the morning. Oh, comfy. There was probably Tempur-Medic mattresses on here. John's up there, I'm down here, we're sharing this cell. Which, <sighs> if this was real life, um, John's already said he would choose solitary confinement. And uh, when you wanted to relieve yourself, number one and number two, there was just simply a honey bucket, as they called it, or a bucket right here that you would do your thing in, whatever that was. Maybe your cellmate would give you some privacy, hopefully. Larry, look the other way, I'm gonna do my thing. And then uh, this bucket would go back in here and it would take it and empty it. So that was the indoor plumbing that they had here in this cell. What do you think the chances are of today of us seeing an aberration or a ghost or something like that? Do you have any that you can like, you your kind of quick go-tos? I think we've got a couple spots that we can go check out. Who were some participants in death row? Were there really mean, bad people here? Yeah, we did house an inmate named Raymond Snowden here in death row, who uh, was the only man executed here in this gallows structure. There were nine previous executions done at the site before this building was built, and all 10 were here on first degree murder charges. Okay. All 10 executions were done via hanging. This is where I get to surprise you guys with the prison keys. So, you know. Do you guys make stuff even oh, squeakier and louder in this like place? I don't like this. I don't like this at uh, all. That's, I don't even want to be in the room, honestly. It's a real weird feeling, man. I don't like this at all. JC has just brought us into the execution chamber. Yes. But they would pull, the person would be there, and then this is the lever. Absolutely, yeah. He would have been placed on that trap door. When you come to the Idaho State Penitentiary, you definitely want a tour guide because you don't get to see cool, creepy, spine-tingling things like that room. So the old Idaho State Penitentiary is open during the summer between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Admission is $6 for an adult, $3 for a kid. Now, here's the really cool thing that we learned. Guides, a guided tour, is no extra charge. You can get into a guided tour uh, for nothing, just the $6 admission. The problem is, you don't know when that's gonna be. That's not a list online, that's not regular times during the day. So what you need to do is call or email ahead of time and ask the old state pen, hey, when are the guides going out? So you can be here at that time and you can get on that tour. Wow, this is, uh, this is small. It is small. And this was built for punishment for inmates. It, it's kind of creepy because it's dark super dark. You had a hole at the top for your lights come through and that was your that was your world. For how long at a time? Typically around 30 days but there we know of one inmate who spent 18 months in here after after murdering another inmate. Hey look John enjoys it. I feel like if I had a TV with some Netflix I could definitely survive in here for 18 months. Some of the darkest episodes of the prison history, you know, would have taken place in areas where they were punished. And because it is dark, there's no, ooh, I don't know if you guys heard that noise. And because it is dark, 
There's no, ooh. I thought that was Madeline. Was that Madeline? Oh, jeez. I was hoping I was, uh, I was hoping I was, <laughs> was being supported there. That was really there. good timing, because I, the, you Gosh, said. Madeline's little mouth sound sounded like a ghost. I thought you were totally messing with us. Like, you're, like there was some little thing here that just did that, that I have a button, now we're working on that. We just finished our tour of the Idaho State Penitentiary, the most popular tourist attraction in Idaho. And we ended at 10. And just before 10, there was a line of people at the door. You can see, boom. Young people, old people. Like, this place has happened right at 10 o'clock. So, so crazy. You're gonna wanna come here early on a summer day because there is no AC in those buildings. And I've been here before, but I didn't do it with a guide he brought a whole different element to it. And I think what he was saying too is like each guide brings their own piece to it. So if you come more than once, you're gonna get a different experience, so. I was in there for loafing and uh, I got this really cool nickname. Well, I think I was wrong, wrongfully accused, really. As Punchy, uh, I think he got a bad rap. I mean, it says here he was a burglary in second degree and persistent violation of the law. I mean, what's that mean? You can't just say you're persistently violation of the law, so you gotta go to prison. I mean. You were loafing in there. Chad, what are we gonna go do next? Well, stay tuned, John, and you guys will find out. Oh, that's an excellent throw it to break. Do what Chad said, we'll be right back. Don't miss anything, we'll come right back. 30 more seconds, stay with us. 30 more years, we'll be out. We'll be right back. <laughs> Persistent violation of the law. It's the Boise Convention and Visitors Bureau's mission to enhance the economy by promoting the Boise area as a destination for conventions, corporate meetings, trade shows, leisure travel, sporting and cultural events. Visit boise.org and start planning your next visit today. Ranked as one of the top 15 health systems in the U.S., St. Luke's is home to Idaho's only children's hospital, largest cancer center, and amazing people dedicated to your best health and life. Learn more at stlukesonline.org. So today, it's a beautiful summer day, and we are at McHugh's, a sports rental staple here in downtown Boise for over 40 years. And Chad and I are gonna be taking out a tandem bicycle on the famous Boise Greenbelt before arriving at a live after five. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous in Chad's bicycle skills, to be honest with you, but let's check it out. Let's go into McHugh's, let's get on the bike. So the McHughes started in 1972. Along with tandems, we're gonna have an array of mountain bikes. We go from hardtails to full suspension. Um, we're gonna also have carbon to plus size bikes, electric, uh, tag-alongs for the kids, trailers for the kids. Can you give us any advice on riding a tandem bike? If you're not really in sync with the person you're riding with, it could be a bit of a struggle. You get on this tandem and you're in a relationship, you might make it, you might break it. Oh, God, this, is not, get this is not a good <laughs> Take your hands off, you're turning my butt. Hey, just easy. No, you can't, I, I'm the one steering the thing. I don't know Not why you. I can't break. I have no control. I feel like I I'm just hurtling to control. oblivion with you. All the control. Okay, we've made it a short distance down to the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial. It's a beautiful place to come, read the quotes, or sit and listen to the waterfalls. It's a very peaceful spot. Well, Chad, we made it. That we did. They said it's make it or break it, and we made it. Oh, okay, well then we might get this series done after all. <laughs> I hope. Chad, so here we are. Uh, I can barely hear my thoughts right now because Lo-Fi is jamming out behind us. So, really, am I gonna have to deal with this? Tell us why you like Alive After Five so much. Well, I was coming here a long time ago. It's a great spot to come. It's at five o'clock. You get off work. There's free live music. Come down, 
have a beverage with your buddy. You know, you can commit to like a half an hour, an hour, or you can stay for the whole thing. People bring chairs down here and camp out. Um, and it's good people watching, really good people watching. All right, so if you have a Wednesday free, this sounds like a great day to me. You go to McHugh's, you pick up a tandem bike, you then you head downtown, because you're already downtown, you grab something to eat, you come over to a live after five, you chill, you watch, listen to some music, yeah. you grab a beer, and then you head back downtown for either some shopping, some nightcaps, some more to eat, if you're me, some dessert. So I think you look like you're ready for a beer. So maybe, no, no. So no, oh, yeah. okay, let's, dance. let's head in till live after five and get you a beer because if you're like that sober after a beer, I'm sure you'll be super fun. Well, Chad, that was a hell of a Wednesday. That was a fun Wednesday. You know, in all my years of living here, I've never put those two things together. Biked on the green belt, end up at a Live After Five. It's a sweet night. Yeah, man, I haven't been to a Live After Five that much, but I dig the vibe, I dig the energy. And you know what? A free concert and some beer, you gotta love Boise, right? Exactly, you can't go wrong with that. Thanks for watching Go To Boise. Please subscribe to the channel for more adventures in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on social media. If you have any questions for us, we would love to see it in the comment section below. Also, big thanks to our sponsors. They are truly what makes Boise special. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.